Hello students and welcome to my channel MK Tutorial. I am your tutor Madhvi and today in this class we will talk about the next farm management. In, pre in previous videos we have talked about the other farm managements like dairy farming, poultry farming, beekeeping or apiculture. So for those videos I have put the link in the description box you can check them or else you can press the i button here. Now in today's class we will talk about the next farm management that is fisheries but before starting if you have not subscribed to my channel yet so please press the bell icon and subscribe to my channel and now you can also follow me on facebook twitter and instagram so let's start now fisheries fisheries is also called as pc culture so Fisheries, it is also called as pisciculture. Now, whenever you hear the term fishery, what is the first thing will strike at you? Obviously, a fish. You can imagine a fish. Now, when you will imagine a fish, the imagining a fish as in capturing of the fish. So, basically, fisheries, it deals with the capturing of the fish. And why we have to learn this? Why? What is the basic moral behind learning this and having this topic into animal husbandry? So, Fisheries means, the term fisheries, it means capturing fishes, yes. Now, capturing fishes for to obtain fish as in your meat or in meat consumption as in or as a source of food, yes. Fisheries, fisheries is actually one of the most popular occupation in India. So, India have blessed with a coastline of about 7500 kilometer, somewhere approximately that. And because of this blessed of good coastline, most of the people who are living nearby the shores or the coastlines, those all are dependent on the fish and it is their occupation. So, fisheries is the one of the very most common and popular occupation of all the Indians and out of this occupation there are around 14 million people who are dependent on it yes now what all things will get from the fish now fish is basically used as a source of consumption source as a food and the rest all the byproducts will talk about the byproducts later first of all we'll focus on the food because the major part is derived from the food. So fish is or, or else we can also put as a seafood. It is derived for its food. So people they consume food, the people they consume fish as a food. Fisheries they provide a good job opportunity and as well as it can also provide a self-employment. Yes, anyone can go and opt for this commercial line. They can start their own fisheries and they can start earning. Now, at the commercial level, fishery and it adds the money in Indian economy. So, fisheries as in business, as at commercial level, it also helps to increase the GDP of the country and it boosts the Indian economy or the country's economy. Yes, now, so throughout the world for the seafood production, India ranks sixth. Now, why it is having a so high demand? Why fisheries or fisheries occupation or fish as a source of food is really in high demand? Why? Because fishes the first thing they are very easy to digest they also they are easily or readily digestible they are easy to digest they have got a high amount of protein some minerals vitamins and they have also got iodine along with some other nutritional values yes yeah, so Fishes are having their like very less in fats and calories 
at the same time they are easily digestible so everyone opt for it and it is really easy to make they are uh, they will not take more time to uh, cook and as well as they are having a good source of protein mineral vitamins and iodine things will come under fisheries is it only fishes so is it only fishes or the production of fishes in the fisheries no apart from fish fish is no doubt the first major one but apart from fish it is also used for prawns lobsters oyster pearls you can also have crabs etc so in fisheries we will also have fishes along with fishes there will be prawns lobster oyster and crabs now how to define fisheries or pisciculture so fisheries can be defined as it deals with the care and maintenance it deals with the care and maintenance of it deals with the care and maintenance of fishes for meat consumption or as you can also put it as as artificial rearing of fishes for meat consumption which is ultimately going to boost the economy of the country but to be more precise and a very sophisticated definition of fisheries it deals with the fisheries it deals with first you are going to capture it you are going to collect it you are going to catch it yes so it deals with the capturing so you will capture the fish you will collect the fish and after once you have collected what you are going to do to do the processing on it so capturing processing now processing dep depends on which by product you are going to obtain from it either as a food or either as something else so processing varies so first thing you are going to capture it then you are going to process it after processing you are going to do the fish farming and distribution distribution and marketing so in a more precise way fisheries can be defined as it deals with capturing processing fish farming and distribution i have mentioned earlier that india is blessed with a very good and long coastline of about so india is having a coastline of about approximately 7500 km and based on this the fish farming on or fisheries as an occupation is divided into three divisions or three parts yes so let us look at what are the three divisions of fish farming the first one is called as inland fish farming the next one is called as estuarine fish farming and the last one is called as and the last one is called as marine fish farming so based on the coastline the fish farming is divided into three divisions the inland fish farming the inland fish is done in fresh water body so here there will be fishing done in the fresh water bodies like it can be done in the ponds river lake tank etc so the fisheries which are done in the fresh water bodies are called as inland fisheries the examples are it can be practiced in the ponds river lakes and the tank now you are supposed to remember the examples of the fishes which are obtained from the fresh water yes and you have to remember this without fail please do not skip because it is asked in exam in multiple choice question give examples of fresh water fishes so some of the examples are labio rohita this is a scientific name and the common name is rohu is the first the second one is katla katla this is a scientific name 
and the common name is Katla. You are supposed to underline it, yes, because it is a genus and species name. The third is the common name is called as common carp. So if you are remembering at least two more than enough, when you will have a practical in your science biology practicals, you will you can see them in your specimen bottles. Yes, it is also asked in the viva, it is also asked in the biology practicals. So, inland fisheries, inland fisheries it deals with the fishing happening in the freshwater bodies, examples like you can practice it into ponds, river, lakes, tank. The examples are Labio Rohita also called as Rohu, Katla Katla also called as Katla and the common carp. Now, before starting estuarine, we will talk about the marine one. What is a marine fish farming? Now, unlike inland, it is same. Now, what is going to happen in marine fish farming? So, the fish fisheries or the fish farming which is done in the marine water body. Yes, the fisheries which is done in the marine water body like sea and ocean is called as marine fish farming. Yes, and now some of the examples of marine fish farming or the fishes which are found in marine fish farming are now here also you are supposed to remember the examples without fill. So this is Harpe Don, also called as Bombay Duck. So the examples are the Harpe Don, also called as Bombay Duck, Rastrolega, also called as Mackerel, Stromatias, also called as Pomfret. I will tell you some of the common names which are called in Hindi or Marathi. Harpedon or Bombay duck is also commonly known by name as Bombil. Rastrolegal or mackerel is also known commonly by Bangla. Stromatius or pomfret is nothing but a paplet. Yes. Now, so we are done with inland and marine. Now, what is estuarine? Estuarine or it is also called as brackish. Now, it is that junction. Yes, it is that junction where the river water and sea water meet. Yes, it is that junction where there will be pouring happening by the river water and the sea water. Yes, or you can say there is a mixture of the river and the sea water, fresh water meeting a marine water. That's it and the fishes obtained from it. The pictures of the fishes are provided. You can have a look below. You can see Labio Rohita. You can see Katla Katla. Then I am also providing Harpedon, Rastrolego and Stromatus. Yes. Now let's move ahead to the methods of fish farming. That is the methods of fish farming. Now there is culturing of fishes in ponds, lakes, reservoirs, etc. which helps to give you a good amount of fishes and then ultimately processing it and distribution and marketing. Yes, so ultimately what is doing it is helping you to boost the productivity and the economy of the country. Yes, but before starting it on a commercial level, the one who is doing it, your fisherman or anyone else, one needs to take few things into consideration before starting it into a commercial level. Now, what are those factors we'll have a look now there are certain five factors we have to take into consideration so methods of fish farming the first factor is selection of site you need to choose a site wherein you can start your fish farming once your place is decided is, is ready then the second is excavation of the pond excavation of ponds meaning you need to dig up that land or the ground to make a hole or a pond or a lake or, or any artificial thing wherein you can practice your fish farming. Then once the excavation of pond is done, that is digging of the land is done, you need to do hatchering and nursery. That is you need to leave water in that particular pond and then you need to leave the eggs of those fishes of your choice. And then there will be hatchery and the nursery happening after that, it's important to do the rearing and the stocking of the ponds. And the last thing is the supplementary feed that is giving those fishes a good amount of food. Now, the fish farming can be practiced as a monoculture or polyculture. Monoculture meaning 
if I want to do a fish farming into a commercial level, but I want to do a fish farming of only one fish species, that is it might be a Bombay duck or it might be a mackerel. So that will be a monoculture. The rearing of the fishes of only one single species is monoculture, but rearing of many species of the fishes at a time wherein you will rear for or there will be a fishes, there will be oyster, there will be a crabs, then that will be a polyculture. Yes. Now, method. So there are certain techniques wherein you can preserve your fish and prevent it from getting it spoiled. So what are certain preservation techniques? The first is you can do chilling, you can do freezing, also you can do freeze drying, you can do sun dry putting it, putting it into uh, exposed to the sunlight you can do smoke dry also you can do salting and canning yes so these are certain preservation techniques or the method wherein you can preserve your fish and prevent it from getting spoiled uses fish products and byproducts the first thing is food I have mentioned it earlier also, fish serves as a good source of food. Why? Because the fishes, they are good source of protein. Fishes are really very rich in protein as well as minerals, vitamin, especially vitamin A and D and then iodine. And it is also low in fats. So because of this nutritional value, it is really good to have fish as a food and plus it is easy to digest. The second is the fish oil. Now fish oil is actually obtained, this oil is obtained from the tissues of the fishes. Yes, there are some specific marine fishes only from which we can obtain the oil. I hope you have heard about the cod liver oil. Yes, the cod liver oil. Now, what is the use of having this oil? Now, this oil is actually uh, substitute and uh, tabulated in a form of supplementary tablets. Yes, you will find uh, the cod liver oil is actually a good supplementary product which one can have as a capsule to boost the immunity. Because this fish oil, they are rich in omega-3 fatty acid. They are rich in omega-3 fatty acid and this is really, really good so that you can have a good vision. It helps you to give you good vision. It helps you to give you a healthy and a glowing skin and it helps to boost your immunity. It gives you a stamina. The third is the fish meal. Now, fish meal is actually the waste material of the fishes which is given as a food or a fodder to the domestic animals or the cattle basically. Isinglass. Isinglass is actually a high fiber collagen. Yes, it is a high fiber collagen which is obtained from the air bladder of the fishes. And this isinglass or isinglass is basically used in a brewing industry wherein there is a beer production happening. Yes, it is used in a brewing industry for clarification of beer. So that's all about ice and glass. It's also used in a cosmetic also, but the main is the clarification. Last is fishes which are used for controlling diseases. Yes, there are certain fishes which helps to prevent the spread of some diseases. Here we will talk about only one disease that is malaria. Now, malaria is caused by the mosquito bite. Yes. Now, or basically wherein we will have a good amount of a uh, rise in population of mosquitoes. So, what we will do? Now, mosquitoes are usually seen in a stagnant water and a stagnant water is a good source of large amount of larvae of the mosquitoes. So, there are certain fishes though the fish like Gambusia fish. Now, this Gambusia fish eats the larvae of the mosquito as a food. So, if we are releasing this Gambusia fish in a stagnant water wherein there is a larvae of the mosquitoes, it helps to reduce the chances of the population of the mosquitoes and ultimately reduces 
the chances of malaria yes so this were the some uses of the byproducts and the products which are obtained from the fishes if there are any queries or doubts please put down in the comment section i'll make sure i'll solve it and if you like my video and teaching please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you